What's up, bikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Starting today, grab and go lunches are only available through the middle school. However, there is a delivery service, but your family must fit the criteria that was posted on Schoology. Enrollment for driver's ed also begins today. The cost is $175 and it will go from June 1st to June 19th. Office hours have been posted on Schoology. If you have any questions over any assignments, this is the time to ask your teachers. Justin has another update on the 2K tournament. Let's check it out. Hey Vikes, back with some more SVTV NBA 2K tournament coverage. I went on a Zoom interview with Gavin Wilhelm and his Warriors to see what path he had to take to get to the finals. Hello, my name is Gavin Wilhelm and I am the GM of the Golden State Warriors. I picked the Golden State Warriors uh, fourth in the draft because I was thinking since I'm playing on 2019, I also have KD on that roster. And by me having KD, I have three big threats. I have two shooting threats and I have one all around player. Um, thinking about playing on 2K20, still have those two shooters, just not KD, and just have uh, Andrew Wiggins fill into that spot. After all the brackets came out, I was super thrilled to see that I had a bye game until multiple people joined afterwards, and I realized I have to play Caleb Inglekin, who is a very great player. I was very nervous going in, considering the fact that I had almost never played 2K before. Uh, I started playing multiple times um, with friends, and I just started grinding the game. A home back-to-back -back Sunday at a sold-out Oracle Pistons final appearance in this building. And eventually, whenever I got in the game, I could not miss a shot, which was very helpful and vital to my success. Um, but other than that, it was a good game. Uh, after seeing the, the second-round brackets come out and knowing that I have to play the Kings and Cam Navarro just scoring 60-plus points with Buddy Heald, Made me a little nervous going in, but I had a game plan just to go out there and lock him down. And I'm telling you, Sacramento matters, particularly if they go up against the Golden State Warriors because they want Golden State. <laughs> they are not scared of Golden State. Stephen A., to that point, Buddy Heald said that he's betting his house. That's downtown Sacramento, a beautiful look at the Golden One Center. And I feel like I won that series because of KD and Clay. Um, Steph Curry was never a factor for me. Um, he, was a great, he, he was great at defense and uh, steals and assists and whatever else I needed. But once again, I just had KD just fire shooting and just, to be honest, he has the best release in the game. And that made it super easy <clears throat> for me just to keep in the buckets. After seeing that my uh, third round playoff game was going to be Braden Holly, I was super stoked because after realizing that Camden beat Braden in the first round and then I swept Camden in the second round, I had tons of confidence that it was just going to be an easy run um, for my third round and just making it easy to the semifinals. NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm, continues with the Portland Trail Blazers and Golden State Warriors. Welcome to Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, home of the Warriors, who continue their homestand. Um, the problem throughout this was I wasn't playing basketball. I was playing give KD the ball and let KD shoot. I'm trying to up his stats. And everything and that that led to me not making shots making him tired letting Braden get back from the from the hole I put him in um, so it was very challenging I won the first game and then in the second game I kind of just blew it I Katie could not make a shot I was already in a hole because I just kept trying to make things with him went to overtime with Braden actually and then after I went to OT I kind of just screwed it up and then in the third round game I really just tried to blow him by 100 and I think it was 60 plus after seeing that uh, my semifinals game was going to be Chase Crowder, oh, I was so happy. I've been talking so much smack with him on stream and over the games and everything. It's been so much fun. 
Thank you, Michelle. It's a beautiful Saturday night in downtown Boston as we have one of the marquee matchups of the NBA's entire regular season. A sold-out crowd at the TD Garden as the two-time defending champion Golden State Warriors make their lone regular season visit, and they're coming in playing great basketball as they face off against the Boston Celtics. So going into the game, I'm super happy, super focused, super mentally prepared, and then all of a sudden, I just start making everything with KD. KD, Clay, DeMarcus, you name it. Every shot was going in for me. And, of course, you know, after talking smack, you got to back it up. I ran him 140 to 60. That's all there is to it. And it, I do feel like in this tournament, I am the best Xbox has to offer. I feel like I'm the David of this tournament. I feel like the PS4 is the Goliath. So now all I got to do is just go conquer that side. That was quite a journey Gavin had to take to make it to the finals. Here's your updated brackets. And as you can see, there are still a lot of exciting matchups still left to be played. Thanks, Justin. Now over to Josh with the weather after this quick commercial break. Smash that subscribe button. Delish. News team. <laughs> Good afternoon. Get ready. We have a big warm up on the way over the next few days. It wasn't too bad this weekend, but if you thought that was cool for your liking, just wait. Some perfect weather for you is on the way because check this out. Today, highs in the low 70s, a lot of clouds around, but tonight those clouds will start to break up and tomorrow, we're calling for a high of 83 degrees. That's not record territory, but it is the warmest we've been in over six months with a mix of sun and clouds. Wednesday will be similar. The nicest part of the day will be in the first half of the day because the winds will be light. Sunny skies, 79 is your high. And then Wednesday, late afternoon or evening, a cold front will sweep through. That'll kick the winds way up, gusting up to 45 miles per hour. And then Thursday will be much cooler. Still not bad, though, with highs in the 50s and, again, partly cloudy skies. So here's how it looks on the SVTV 7-day forecast. Again, highlighting the windy conditions for Wednesday. But then watch what happens. As we head toward next weekend, temperatures stay a bit on the cooler side. And we start to see some more rain chances by next weekend. However, there's very low confidence in that right now. Stay tuned for details as we get closer because those rain chances could change. I do want to bring something to your attention. This is what we talked to you about last week is some colder air in the longer range. This is looking at April 13th or the 19th, but it may arrive sooner than that below average temperatures. We're expecting those for much of next week. Get ready, we could be talking about a major cool down. I cannot even rule out a little bit of snow to go along with that because we are expecting above average precipitation. So stay tuned to SVTV weather over the next few days as we fine tune that forecast for you in the longer range. Now, Allie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.